What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions and functions, and we're going to talk about the items function in the referencing functions collection. Now, I know what you're thinking, you just covered item. No, this is items. So items is slightly different from item. So in the previous video, we looked at item, which is where you can reference the current loop that you are in so that you can pull out some information about what is in that loop or what is kind of like iterating through in that loop. Items is the ability to, to specify a parent loop of where you are and pull out information about that. So say you have a loop that's running through a bunch of records, creating records or sending notifications, and then inside that loop, you have another smaller loop which is doing um, a couple of more record creations or a couple of more um, you know, email notifications or something like that, but you need to reference that parent loop. Items is the way you do that. So whereas item references the loop that you're in, items reference the parent loop that you're in. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in Power Automate here. Uh, I've got a CDS triggered flow here for when a record is updated. And then I have a list of records which is going to create an array for me to loop through. Um, I have a couple of other things in here, but we can just ignore them like this initialized variable a bit. That's for a different flow that I'm building a video for. So I have this loop here called loop one. And this loop one loops through these list record items that we're pulling back in this second step here. And then we're going to create a task based on that, um, based on, on that record. And that's something we covered in the previous video. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to list records where the subject equals task. So basically list the things that we are creating here. Now the, way, the reason I'm listing something is so that inside this loop, I have another array that I can use to then loop through, which is what this loop two thing is here. So I span loop two. This value is taken from this list records two, as you can see when I hover over. So what we're doing here is we are looping through the array that we're specifying or we're retrieving in this step here. So we're going to loop through those records and I've just set up to send a mobile notification. So we're going to list all the records where the task equals has a subject of equal in test and then we're going to send a mobile notification and then we have a compose action here. So in the compose action here, what we will do is we'll go over to expressions. We will scroll down until we get to referencing functions. And then we can see items is directly under item. So slightly different from item that we covered last time. So item says, when used inside a for each loop, the function returns the current item of the specified loop. So what, what that's saying is that it's going to look at a loop that you specify, but it needs to be a parent loop. It can't be the loops that you're inside. Um, we're going to look at the, the parent loop. So you, again, you need to be inside the loop as well. You can't do this outside of the, uh, the loop. Um, we're going to find the information of what you are uh, running through, and then we will um, and then we will return some information to you. So if I uh, type items into here, and then I can specify the loop name that I want. So again, if you have a really big flow that has multiple loops inside it, you could specify a parent loop of the loop that you're in and retrieve information from it. So in this instance, we're gonna reference loop one because that's the, the parent loop name up here. So it's gonna be based on the name of the loop. And then we'll click OK. And I'll go into there and we'll test it and we'll see what we get out. So uh, we'll save and test. I'm running this from a previous run because I don't want to update my record in CDS. Uh, and we can see that the, um, the flow is running. It might take a little while because we're gonna do a couple of loops inside this. And then it ran, great, six seconds it says. So when we scroll down here, so we can see that we, are, we have two records that we are looping through in this instance. And then we can list some records here, and we have some data here. And then in this loop, we uh, we've only got one loop that we are we are running through here. So in this instance, it's pulling back some information about the parent loop still. So this is this is information from what's running inside this loop 
not what's running inside this loop because in this loop we are referencing um, a, a list of tasks because we're listing tasks in list records too. This, as you can see, if I scroll across, this is actually referencing accounts and that's the API call that it's doing to then go off and get the accounts. So we can um, we can pull information back about what is what is going on in that parent loop or that higher up loop in, in the hierarchy and not the loop that you're in. So item is for the loop that you're in, items is for the loop that is a parent of the loop that you're in. So if you need to reference something else, so um, say we need to pull down some information about the the uh, account, for instance, uh, and we want to set that and then maybe you know send an email to someone about it, that's what we can do here. Um, I've not tried it, but I think this would work in the same way as items does. So we could um, potentially pull through uh, maybe, uh, oh, let's check your website URL. So what we'll do is we'll try and specify, uh, I've not tried this, this is untested on a video, so that's always good, and we'll see what happens. So in, in other, um, in the items loop, we were able to just put a dot and then specify a, a, a field name that we want to bring back. Uh, I want to see if it works here. So click that, hover over, it's updated. We'll see if uh, Power Automate allows me to do it. Uh, it may fail, but hey, live videos, let's have some fun. So all I was doing there was specifying what information I wanted to bring back. Now, because I've run this once, uh, we've set up a couple of uh, tasks now. So it's going to take a little bit longer to loop through all those uh, if it's going to work. Uh, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So it's looping through and it's trying to retrieve all of those, all of those records. Um, I would do this and then I'd probably break it live on a video. But hey, it's good to test these things and find out if something's going to work or not. So while that's running, um, I think this, um, this functionality is quite interesting. Um, trying to reference things that you're inside um, we can use the items function for, but uh, the item function for, but items allowing you to reference something else, um, you know, a parent loop might be handy to pull some information out if you want to do something with what you're looping through. Um, I'm just going to pause the video here for a minute and see if this actually completes, uh, and I'll come back to you. Hi guys, so I, the flow finished, I figured out what the issue was. Uh, I've been messing around with some um, mobile notifications recently uh, and I think looping through um, that and then sending a message was actually throttling that mobile notification bit. So I ended up cancelling that flow, removed it and then uh, ran another flow and as you can see this one ran in about five or six seconds. Um, so all I did was just remove um, inside this loop two the um, the uh, mobile notification bit because I was just doing some testing with that earlier. Um, shouldn't have left it in there. But as you can see, uh, this worked. So putting the dot on the end of it, you can then pull out a specific parameter for that, um, for the parent loop that you're running through. So as I said, I think this is really useful. Um, I can see a lot, of, uh, a lot of uses for stuff like this. But as always, I'd like to know what uh, you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what you're using this for at the moment or what you might use this for in the future. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.